Well, shooters and reloaders out there, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone Express. And also a big hello to the Three Circles passengers and members. What we're going to do today is load the 38 Super with a similar load of the original. The original load was a 130 grain full metal case bullet propelled to 1,280 feet per second. The load was designed to enable law enforcement to shoot through and into the heavy car bodies of the day used by criminals. So metal case bullet, 130 grains, 1,280 feet per second. Well, what I have here on the right are full metal case bullets, but they are 150 grains. So all we need is 1,100 feet per second to duplicate the power factor of the 130 grain original load. And we've determined that 10.3 grains of accurate number 9 powder will give us that. So we're going to go ahead and load that load with the Lee App Press. We're going to use brass that's very similar to the brass of the original 38 Super load. This happens to be Remington Peters brass that is nickel plated. So here you see the Lee App Press going ahead and neck expanding, mouth flaring all those cases. And here's one case that went through upside down. That happens every once in a while. But you see it's pretty quick in doing the neck expanding mouth flaring. Okay, don't need to show you the rest of that. Suffice to say, you see the neck expanding mouth flaring is perfect for that bullet. What you're hearing is I'm shaking the tube to keep the tube filled as I'm running the cases through. Won't take long to do all 50. So you see we've got all of our cases, neck expanded, mouth flared. Next step is to prime the cases. So can the Lee app press prime cases? And the answer is, well, the Lee Ram Prime should be able to do it, right? And the answer is yes and no. Turns out that if you mount the Lee Ram Prime in one of these breech locks, it won't work because the stem isn't long enough to do it with this much of a thickness here. But if you use the breech lock that is very thin, you see how thin that breech lock is right there compared to that thickness? If you use that breech lock, then the Lee Ram Prime with the 38 Super shell holder will work. Let me show you how to install that. So the Lee Ram Prime in the short breech lock goes in and we tighten that up like that. There's the shell holder. Now we take out the Lee bottle and the underside breech lock and we take out the shell holder and then we install the Lee Ram Prime like that. Then the bottle goes back in, the reverse breech lock goes back in and we're ready to prime. Notice now the stem of the Ram Prime will go through the shell holder far enough to prime the case. Now you see if you use the thicker breech lock, that's as far as you can get. But with a thinner breech lock, you can go ahead and notice the stem going through. You can go ahead and prime your case. This is perfect. So here's how we do it. Pick up a case and pick up a primer. Primer goes in the arm, then you raise it up just far enough to allow the case to go into the shell holder, 
and then we seat the primer. Look at that. You can feel it go right to the bottom of a primer pocket with perfect feel. And if you look at that, that's a perfectly seated primer. Repeat that 50 times. Show you that one more time, and that is, you see you have a primer between your fingertips and a case. Primer goes into the arm, case goes in, seat the primer right to the bottom of the pocket. The Lee Rem Prime works real well with the Lee App Press. No problem. I don't think this is on any other YouTube video, although it probably is somewhere. I just haven't seen one yet. Now notice all of those are very nicely primed, very uniform, but more important is that the Lee Ram Prime allows us to feel for any loose primer pockets. Because if you got loose pockets, you can actually feel the drop in of the primer with no resistance or very little resistance and then we can cull those cases out. As we shoot powerful loads in our 38 Super to get major power, we have to watch out for loose primer pockets. Now we always want to use some mineral oil to coat our breech locks before we put them away. Well, just like that, we're ready for powder charging bullet seating. So we go ahead and put the bullet seating die back in. And for this, we can use the taller breech lock. That's good enough. We want to have the, the little Split ring right there toward the front. And bullet seating is very nominal on the Lee App Press. You go ahead and put the powder charged case with the bullet on top, seat the bullet. As easy as that. So we go ahead and seat the bullet. Read that one more time. And just when we get done, the next powder charge is ready. So crimping with the Lee App Press is child's play. Put the crimping die in, it's the tapered crimp die, adjust it, and then the Lee App Press very solidly handles the doing of the crimping. As you can see, I'll just show you a couple more of those. Simple. There's the ammo for the duplication of the original loading with the heavier bullet and show you those in close up. Yes, the Lee App Press can prime our cases without any problem using the Lee Ram Prime. And here are our finished 38 Super ammo. Take care. We'll see you next video. Bye for now.